Hello everybody and welcome to episode 76 of Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, I cut it off at a point I probably shouldn't have. I should have just had us watch this cutscene earlier, but I stupidly skipped it. So anyway, let's watch it now. What? Spat Count Black in utter disbelief. Surely this news cannot be true. The heroes still live? Ah ha ha. Oh, I'm afraid so, Count. In fact, they will be here before long. What? Is that true, then? What are we doing twiddling our biscuits here? Count Black, let me go throw him a nice welcome party. I'll bring the punch. Ooh, I want a party with those party poopers too. Wait up, oh chunks Me, 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 me. Come on, how many times do I have to kick both of your butts? I've been o chunks three times. Mimi, I believe, twice. Um, well, I'm not one to miss a party. Oh, but wait, one moment, dear Count. Does the name Blumiere ring a bell? Uh-oh. Where did you hear that name, Dementio? Oh, the mustache man's pixel went on and on. She said, I must stop Blumiere. But I suppose there's no reason to pay any mind to the ramblings of a pixel. Ciao for now, my Count. Oh, Dementio. Get into the middle of the drama, I see. Count Black, if um, if that pixel is who you think it is, there's still time. You can still stop the prophecy from destroying everything. Because if that's really her, if she's alive, you have to stop all this. You know not what you are saying, Nastasia. The prophecy can no longer be stopped by Count Black. No one can stop it. Except me. And by me, I mean Mario. Lord Blumiere. So that is Blumiere. We knew it, although it's kind of obvious, to be honest. Black, bloomy air. They sound kind of the sort of the same. The dark prognostic is his choice to fulfill the prophecy. So I wonder what happened then, like why he became so evil. Because at first he didn't sound like he was that bad of a guy. Even some of the cutscenes made him seem like he was almost like a hero. Come to count black heroes. If you hope to save these worlds, then come. Bleh, black. Well, this will be an interesting showdown. So maybe black's not the bad guy after all. Bloomy air, my son. Don't. Even your ancestors could not handle that dark book. If you open it, there's no telling what might happen. I do not care, father. A world without her is empty. A life without her is empty. Speak, dark brain. Prog Teach your dark history. I await your command. Bleh, black. Blumier, what have you done? Silence, the first prophecy beckons. I will erase every inch of this blasted world. B Blumier, don't do this. Blumier. Blumier is no more. I am Count Black, and no one shall stand in my way. Bleh, black. Huh, so that's interesting. So maybe Blumier opened the book, trying to figure out a way to save his girlfriend, Timpani. No, Blumier, you mustn't. Oh, great, there's Timpani again. Darling, how could you? Oh, darling, you... Why? Hey, Tippy, snap out of it, will ya? What? I thought you'd just gone back to town, but then I saw you lying there, not moving. And then you started shouting loudly. I have to say, it kind of startled me. Um, I'm alright. I'm sorry for startling you. Blumier, is that a person's name you were saying? Were you remembering something from your past, perhaps? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. I just yell about... I just make up random names and start yelling them out loud and how much I love them. Happens to me all the time. So we have gathered all the pure hearts and all four of the heroes, it seems. Gwahahaha! Now we just stomp this Count Black guy and call it a day. I fear for the poor people of this world who must continue to look at the sky and worry. We must act quickly and ease their hearts and minds. Oh, Peach, you're so thoughtful. And Tippy. What troubles you, Tippy? The prophecy. Do we really have to destroy Count Black to stop it from happening? Oh, she wants to save Count Black. Much of the dark prophecy has already come to pass. But stop it, we must. It was by Count Black's hand that the chaos heart was summoned, bringing this peril. Without him, the prophecy's power will wither, and all worlds can avoid their ends. Yes, I suppose you're right. I guess we always knew that, didn't we? Tippy, what's the matter, huh? Luigi, stop butting into other people's business! My dear, was there something between you and this Count Black? Um, no, nothing. It was nothing. I'm fine, let's go. How is it not obvious that Tippy did not have a thing for Count Black in the past? Like, she's basically just, like, admitting it. Like, come on. Alright, so anyway, um, what I'm going to do in this episode is something a little different than usual. I'm not going to go do the main quest right now. Where am I going? I need to get to the pipe. Basically, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get the last pixel of the game, Piccolo. Um, no, not the guy from Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's, it's a pixel. Trust me. And it's a, I don't know what the pixel is used for is exactly. Um, I kind of forgot. Um, I, but I remember it's not as useless as Barry. And it actually would have been useful to have in some areas of the game. But I have to talk to a girl named... Let's see. Merle. And I believe Merle is in here. This is Merle. Yes, we have to talk to her about it. 
Ah, it's Merle's House of Charms. Flopside branch by my arms. You're surprised, don't be. I was worried for you, G, so I moved here. Hee <laughs> hee. If you have a charm of mine, life will surely be so fine, whether it is rain or shine. Let me ask you this, though. Want a charm before you go? Yes. I allow. You will have to say, wow, choose. Um, okay, so... Oh, we have to talk to her on the other side. My bad. So we go like this. Ah, oh yeah, fine timing. My blood pressure climbing. See, I was hoping maybe for you to do me a big favor. Can you, I implore? Only if it's a small one. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you, true. I knew I could count on you. During my confusing move, I lost my crystal ball so smooth. I use a replacement now, but it feels wrong somehow. I believe that Merlovely uses the same type of ball as me. Would you go to her and ask for one of her crystal balls real fast? You know where Merlovely is, right? Where the outskirts of Flipside are in sight? Thank you, thank you, true. So now we gotta go talk to Merlovely, who I believe is on... Yeah, she's the other person. So we gotta go back down here now. And go talk to Merlovely. Now this quest is kind of long. I probably won't finish it in this episode. It's not that long. Um, it's just a lot of walking through levels we've already been to. So this is Merlovely. Hee hee, hee hee hee. Wow, you're very intelligent, lady. I have been waiting, heroes. You wanted to ask me about a crystal ball. Oh, you freak! How'd you know? Oh, it's because you're a fortune teller. Whatever, sorry. There is nothing to fear. I'm Merlovely. It is my job to know the future. Merly sent you, did she not? Yes, I have readied the ball. Please take it. Or, I'd like to say that. <laughs> I know I do not look like it, but I am in training. I told someone about it, and they said that they had some useful equipment. But I have been so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. The, fel the kind fellow who offered me the fl equipment is the Flip Wizard Bestovius. It would really help me out if you would agree to. Hack, cough. Oh, come on. Yes, I'll go to his house. I know I have to. So now we have to head to... Well, let's use the pipe. Yes, use the pipe. So now we have to go talk to Bestovius, and if you remember him, he's in World 1-1. So all the way at the very beginning of the game again. Now, just a quick note, you can only do the side quest once you reach flop side. So, because remember you have to talk to Merle first. So you have to at least have finished chapter 5. So, and Bestovius is in chapter 1-1, one, one, so that's where we're gonna go look for him right now. Um, I... Yeah, we've seen this all before, thank you. The very beginning of the game, remember this? Except last time we were in here, the void in the sky wasn't half as big as it is now, so... I think this one wasn't sucked in. Oh, remember Goombas when we used to fight Goombas? It's like Memory Road here. I remember these days. When Goombas used to be somewhat of a threat. Actually, that was never the case, but... Come on, make it over! <coughs> Booyah. Now everything's just so easy to kill. That sounded kind of satanic, honestly. I think Bestovius wasn't here, right? Uh, there he is. Ah, hero. What need have you of the blindingly brilliant Bestovius? Ah, so you have come for the training machine. Machine? Training machine? In place of Merlovely? Hmm, yes, of course I know of such a machine. Normally I would never allow you to bask in the splendor of my knowledge, but you are a hero. Now then, hero, I have a favor to ask of you. I have lent a certain something to the mayor of Yule Town Watch It. You must retrieve it for me. I have asked for it back many times, but old Watch It must it, for he has never read it. Reach for me, Bestovius. Why are you talking to yourself? And I shall grant you your training machine. Simply ask him for the you-know-what. He'll understand. Now be gone. Alright then, so now we gotta head to Watch It. And Watch It, if you remember, was in World 1-2. Um, so now we gotta use the return pipe again and head to World 1-2. So again, this is, this is basically just a fetch quest, as I'm sure you guys have seen a lot. Um, in a lot of games, a lot of games have this stuff, so... There's no real surprises that this game has it, too. Um, it's actually, it's not long, but, you know, I said it was long. It, it'll be, it will be done by the next episode, trust me on that. And actually, after this, I do have another surprise, not a surprise, but something else I want to do again before we head into the next area. Um, some of you might know what it is, some of you might not. Actually, none of you know what it is, because I haven't said it. Where the heck are we? I don't remember an area like this at all. Okay, so we have to find Watch It. I don't remember where Watch It is, though, so... Hopefully we find him fast, though. Once we find Watch It, I'm gonna end the episode. Because then after that, we have to head to one more place, and then we actually have to backtrack all of our steps. So yeah, it can be kind of annoying. 
But you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Right. We could have just jumped, honestly, as Luigi or Princess Peach. Because this just takes so much longer. So hopefully Watch It's nearby. Although I... Because Watch It was the main part. I'm assuming he has to be like... And I don't think the game would make us go that far out of the way, would it? Oh, that was stupid of me. See, now we can make all these intense jumps that we couldn't do before. Okay, come on. Okay, please don't freeze on me, game. My game was, like, going really slow there. Okay, watch it with the mayor of that town. Now I remember where he is. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, God. Don't do that. Mario! And then we come over here, and we flip 3D so these things don't kill us. Yeah, right, son. You can't hurt me! Booyah! Jumped over you! Gonna jump over you, too. Gonna jump over you! Gonna jump over... Holy crap, I can't jump over you. And go back. So I think Watch It should be in this through this next door. Hopefully, because I don't want this episode to go on for too long. I don't know how many times I plan on saying that. Okay, so here's Watch It. Let's hit this. Remember back in the old days when we used to come here and stuff? Hey, we're back at full health now. Yeah, I believe this is Watch It's room. Yes, it is. Well, it's you. I was just looking for you. Need you to do something. What? You watch it. Don't you give me that not again look. <laughs> Dumplings, you listen to me now. Hey, yeah, you here? Open these ears before I box them. Before you box them? So here's the thing. You don't even have ears, watch it. This strange lady showed up in my dreams and talked on and on about something. I don't know what it was, but she needed help with something. Watch it. Yup, this is what she looked like. I don't know what her deal is, but she needs to get out of my dreams. Watch it. So get off my rug and help her out. Maybe then she'll quit flapping her lip. If you put a sock in her trap, I'll give you whatever you want. Watch it. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Oh, don't get so close to me. I gotta give you this. A paper? She's been in my dreams so long. I guess I've become a fan of sorts. So go get her to sign this. Then you know what you can do. You can watch it. Oh, you're so funny. Watch it. All right, so this is going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will finish up this fetch quest. Um, I promise that. So until then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.